first off, uh, 51 passing attempts, how does your arm feel? Uh, it feels good. We, we, we've done a good job of taking care of it, of, of icing it, treatment, um, doing everything we can to, to be able to handle that type of workload. And then uh, two receivers, the top receivers, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, and William was both there for you. Uh, how did it feel having both of those guys available? They're two of the best to, to ever do it. And, and to have guys like that on our team, you know, they, they bring a different energy, a different vibe to our team. And to have those guys back during practice and during this game, you know, they, they come up big time on third down. And Keenan and Mike uh, have been making plays and, um, you know, super thankful to have those guys on our team. Justin, you had both of those back, but you also had Joshua Kelly back in the backfield. How was that with Joshua and, and uh, Austin back there? Yeah, Josh, to have him back has been huge, too. He, he runs the ball so well, and, and, you know, he's such an effective runner and uh, able to catch the ball out of the backfield as well. So to have two guys like that out of the backfield, um, you know, it adds a, a whole bunch to our offense. Josh Palmer, you said uh, they saw more emotion out of you than maybe sometimes you display during other games. Did you feel uh, any extra emotion, any extra energy while playing today? Um... I, I thought it, it was just an awesome effort for, by our team today. Um, you know, I, I thought the defense did an incredible job battling, and you know, despite being down a couple guys, those guys stepped up big time. And you know, we never had any doubt about those guys going in there and stepping up. And um, you know, Josh, Mike, Keenan, Gerald, Dre, uh, those guys just keep making plays on the outside. So um, to have an offensive line like we do, and to be able to block it up, protect it, um, you know, I thought it was it was good to see from all phases of, of our football team today. No, I unfortunately didn't get to see him, um, but uh, it's something I could look back and, and watch later if, if it comes to that. Keenan Allen called and said that tonight's performance by you shows why you're the best quarterback in the NFL. What does it mean for Keenan to say that about you? Uh, well, I really appreciate that high praise from him. You know, I've got so much respect for him as a competitor, as a teammate, as a person, and um, as a friend. And we're just so thankful to have him a part of this team. And, um, you know, he's been battling injuries, but he's as tough as it gets. And uh, he wants to be out there and he wants to be great. And, um, you know, he definitely showed why he's, you know, one of the best to ever do it. There's four games left now, Justin. You are in the playoffs at this moment. But, uh, how do you, you know, it's been a, a battle to get where you are. And now you can control, you know, where you end up. So how do you feel about we got to keep going. You know, if we want to get to where we want to go, um, you know, it starts tomorrow. It starts with watching the film, fixing our, our mistakes, um, looking at what we did well and correcting that. And, um, you know, I, I think there is a lot of football left to be played. Um, we're going to get some guys healthy and get some guys back. Um, so just got to keep rolling. Brad said he wasn't happy about the red zone offense. How, how did you feel about the red zone offense tonight? Yeah, I, I think you're always trying to end those drives with touchdowns. Um, it's the unfortunate part that uh, we fell up short, but uh, I thought the defense did a great job of picking us up and getting those stops. Um, but something that we need to address and keep going forward with. A lot was made, a lot was made about you and, and their quarterback in this game, and he didn't really have a particularly good game. Uh, what you see from your defensive performance uh, by your team to close the game? We've got a lot of respect for Tua. You know, he's an incredible quarterback, and you know he's made some big plays this year. And um, you know, I think it's just a credit to the defense for for the week of preparation they put in together. And um, you know, they were connected and they were flying around and they were playing you know fast football. And that was really fun to watch from our defense. And uh, you know, they got a really good football team on that side of the ball. Um, and so, just a ton of respect for those guys. And um, just told them to stay healthy, keep getting after it, and fun to watch them. Justin, as good as, good as you are, how do you stay so humble? I think that's something I could always be better at. Um, you know, that's that's the part of the, the NFL that you have to keep adapting with and keep getting better at. And, um, you know, thankful for the guys in this locker room that hold me accountable and, and keep me, um, you know, from getting too stray. Justin, when the ball's up in the air on that touchdown pass to Mike in the back of the end zone, what, what are you thinking before he comes down with it? Um, I just knew that Mike was going to be able to go up there and get it. And, um, you know, I think he's, he's done such an incredible job getting his feet in bounds. Um, and, you know, for him to be able to do that, uh, track the ball and get two feet down, um, you know, that's why he's one of the best to do it. And, and uh, just a, a ton of trust and comfort in throwing him the ball. A win like this when you guys play pretty solid in all three games, can a win like this give you confidence going down the stretch? I, I would like to think so. You know, I think that's something that, that we're going to look forward to. And, um, you know, the defense, special teams, they, they came up with some big plays, and especially getting Dre on some of those punt returns sets us up uh, with great field position. So to be able to see that, um, you know, I thought that was great for our team. How comfortable are you feeling outside the pocket, running um, in scenarios like that? Uh, getting better. And I think that's one of the great things about our team is, you know, our receivers really understand the, um, you know, the escape mentality of, all right, if the quarterback's on the move, where to run to. Um, you know, where to give your eyes and things like that. So they've done a great job all year of that and uh, definitely something that we'll, we'll keep looking forward to doing. Justin, that, 
How close or how far are you guys away from your best football? Um, you know, I thought we saw signs of it today. Uh, from all three phases, there were a lot of good things on offense, defense, and special teams. Um, definitely some things to clean up, and we'll get to that tomorrow. We'll watch the film, and we'll get better from that. But uh, saw a lot of good positive signs today. You downplayed the quarterback matchup all week, and now that it's over, is there something to it when you face a contemporary and a guy that's on the rise like you are and you're going up against him? Um, I've just got a lot of respect for him. You know, I think uh, – during the week, you, you don't have much time to really focus on their offensive side of the thing. So we watched as much film on the, our, def, our on their defense, and you know they're really talented. They're really well coached, and, and they've done a great job of disrupting the passer. Um, and so that was something that we really took a look at this week of you know how do we have this protection plan to be able to block these guys because they're going to get after the quarterback. Um, you know I thought the offensive line did a great job stepping up and working through that protection plan this week. What did it mean to get a game ball today? Hmm. What did it mean to get a game ball? Um. It was it was uh, it was good to see. You know, I, I think uh, we had a really good week of preparation of practice, and um, you know, guys have, have battled, and we've dealt with a lot of adversity this year. Um, but for us to be able to pick that one up, um, get some guys back, some some guys getting healthy this week, um, you know, it's been really good to see from our team. What was the overall message Brandon Staley gave you guys in the locker room after the game? Uh, just to keep rolling. You know, he was he was really proud of the defense for the way they battled and and got some stops today. So that was awesome to see. Um, but just to keep going, you know, we got another great opportunity this week, um, you know, another really tough opponent coming here. Um, so we're going to need a good week of preparation of practice to get after it. As a quarterback that likes to throw. I've got a ton of respect for Andrew Luck. Um, for him as a, a football player, um, as a person, as a teammate, um, you know, I think it's just cool to be in the same conversation as him. Um, but to, couldn't have done it without, you know, Keenan Mike. Um, all the receivers have, have made plays throughout the years, and uh, especially an offensive line that keeps me upright and keeps me uh, getting the ball off. How much you had uh, Xavier and Howard on for most of the night? You guys still went and attacked that matchup with one on ones a few times. I think you had like three big plays down the field on it. What are you looking forward to see that you're going to take that on any given snap? And then, like, what is it about the way he attacks those contested catches that makes him able to come down with them so often? Yeah, we, we've got a ton of respect for him as a cornerback, and we know how special, and, you know, he's had a bunch of success in this league, and, um, you know, I think that's kind of just, we think really highly of Mike Williams as well, and um, if it's one-on-one -on -one out there, Mike has done such a great job of beating man coverage that you have to target him, you have to get him the ball in third, and um, so he's just done a great job of battling when he's been in there, so, um, you know, it was really good to see from him. 39 completions, 360-some-odd yards, how, how much do you thrive as a quarterback? You, I know you love to throw the ball around, so what kind of, you know, a night like tonight, is that as... As a quarterback, selfishly, I'd love to throw the ball. I wish we could throw it every single down. Um, but, uh, you know, I think it's just kind of the, the game plan that we went with. And, and we knew that it was going to be that type of game. And uh, to get Egg and Josh Kelly running out of the backfield, catching passes, um, you know, I think it adds a whole new dimension to our offense. So, um, you know, whether it's running or passing, uh, we just got to get the ball moving. We got to score in the red zone as well. So that's something that we got to work on. How can you guys get better in the red zone? Just keep watching film, executing, uh, you know, limiting mental errors, um, doing the same thing of just trying not to shoot ourselves in the foot. So uh, that's, that's where we'll watch the film tomorrow and we'll address that and we'll get better.